Hello everyone, Yoshino here. Today, in this tutorial, I will show you how to make a nice hips way to your character like this to have a wider uh, body movement range motion. And this tutorial is part of my uh, how to like to do playlist. Feel free to check it out. I am trying to put as many topics in this so that you will be able to completely rig your model in the best way possible. Remember, my tutorials are very beginner friendly. Even if you never open like 2D, you still will be able to follow them. Remember also that I have a Twitch as well, where I stream basically every day. Uh, you feel free to come, as you can see, I, I rig in stream. You are free to ask me questions or whatever uh, while I'm streaming. So let's already start. I have here my Hipsway model. I have prepared a model uh, just for this tutorial. And uh, we have, there we go, Blue Chan. <laughs> uh, we call it Blue Chan. And uh, this model is made specifically for this tutorial. So it will be uh, available in Gumroad. Check the link below the description to get this model, to download it, and to be able to study it. Um, so let's start already. I forgot the background in, so let's remove it. First of all, let's check the layer division. This one is very simple. Uh, I have worked the layer division only for uh, this specific tutorial, so the body this time will be completely all glued together because we don't need the top part for the hips way. All the division we need is the hips, the legs, which I actually like to keep the knee glued. Uh, some people like to divide also the knee. I prefer to leave it in one uh, layer actually. The booty booty and the feet. Very simple. Let me show you with a little bit of transparency so you can see the overlapping. Let's see the overlapping of the hips. You need a bit of leg going behind the hips. Same thing for the leg and the feet and the foot. As you can see, there is a little bit of overlapping. And the booty is just uh, it's a back layer. Uh, it's like little uh, eggs <laughs> behind everything. One last thing, how I divide the torso compared to the hips. This is simply how I do it. As you can see. Okay, we can uh, jump already into the mesh. This one can be automatic because again, we're not gonna need this. So for the mesh making, I actually prefer to make them uh, myself in this case, uh, especially because we're gonna need um, glue. Um, so let's start. What I'm gonna show you now is that you can make just one half of your mesh like this now let's hit uh, auto connect now hit ok it's gonna cut it don't worry now follow me click on hips again hit ctrl c Go into the mesh, edit again. Right click, reflect horizontally. Click Ctrl V. Boom. Now use this to deselect. Use this again. Now just connect these. Oh, I made the one by mistake. Connect. Auto connect for division. Hit OK. And we got our symmetrical mesh. Amazing, isn't it? Let's do the same thing for the leg. So <laughs> let's work it uh, ourselves, actually. You know what? We could try to use this. Let's see if we manage to make it work. Put three here. Let's 
make the mesh bigger increase this one so we have uh, even triangles now you can hit control and drag to change Okay, now we can hit for division. Okay. Now I need you to click on your uh, right leg, hold shift and click on the hips. We're gonna go in edit more like this. We're gonna edit both of them together. We need this um, to create glue. You could actually skip uh, this step if you're not comfortable in working with glue, but I'm gonna show you. Click outside of everything to deselect everything. Now, click on your leg. We need to actually erase some of this leg that we made. Let's bring this in a little bit. And we need to match this. Actually, you know how we can do this faster. Let's, let's cancel the mesh editing. Come here, hit Ctrl C. Come here, select both of them, go to edit, select only the leg, remove this part, hit Ctrl V. Okay, we pasted our dots. Um, now we have all of the dots, we don't need all of them. So we can erase the part that we don't need. Take your time in this. I know it can be a little bit confusing. But as soon as you will get to the gluing part, you're going to understand why I'm doing this. Auto connect. Let's bring this in a little bit. Let's connect it here. Auto connect again. Now click on the hips and let's make the hip connect on this as well. Basically, what you want to do is to have two meshes that share the same vertices which has which are these dots where they meet so that we can select them both click uh select the lasso tool and select all of these dots that are shared between our meshes and hit bind and i'm gonna show you what this does do not do what I'm doing right now. I'm doing just to show you. If I put the leg rotation, those are now binded. As you can see, they're moving pretty funny. Uh, we're gonna fix that because once you have made the glue, you can actually click here and fine tune this. But first, let's do all the meshes as you can imagine we're gonna do the same thing for the feet don't do the left leg yet because we're gonna actually copy paste it um so let's do the same thing for the feet let's select both of them Put here let's make our mesh for our feet foot sorry <laughs> Now hit auto connect, hold shift and select again both of them. 
click the lasso tool and select the vertices that we have in common and hit bind. Okay. So um, now we can actually copy paste um, the mesh from here to here. So you just select your leg, hit Ctrl C, click here, going to edit, erase this, Ctrl V, right click reflect horizontally. So since we made our mesh symmetrical earlier, this is also going to match here. But we're not actually going to do the glue on this leg yet because we're going to copy paste this one to the other side. So uh, do the same thing. Select your right foot, hit Ctrl C, select this other foot, Ctrl V. Right click reflect horizontally. Okay. For the booty, the automatic mesh should be more than good. Okay, we can start we can start the rigging itself. Uh, so I'm gonna remove all of this because yeah, I don't need it for the tutorial. Um, we need to create brand new parameters for this because the um, the usual parameters that we got uh, don't um, have the hips. So let's make a new parameter hips Z. Let's call it um, param angle hips Z just so that we have a name. And uh, let's put minus 10 to 10. Okay. Uh, so now we need to select everything. Select all that you have. Your full model, you need to select it like this. Let's click on here. And let's make uh, hips Z. Let's call it hips Z. Okay, it might not be center. What we can do to find the center is go here, guide. Guide settings, new guide, vertical, and you need to write here half of what your canvas width is in pixel. Color, let's change the color. We do red. Okay. There we go. And we're gonna have a nice little guide in the middle of our screen. So now we can see that <laughs> this was not centered. So hit control and move this. If you move this without hitting control, it's gonna move what it contains. We don't need that. Uh, you can put it, I don't know, in her belly button is gonna be good. Okay, now you probably never use this tool that I'm about to show you. So I'm very happy to show you. Click here. What is made, it's, uh, it, it is showing right now a temporary snapshot of how my model is looking right now. You're confused? Don't worry. Uh, so let's select our rotation deformer here. Click here. Make it active. Move it to the uh, left. Hold shift uh, and drag. What did I tell you? Uh, we have a snapshot of how our model looked before. We can toggle it on and off. Um, I want you to move this more or less so that your right foot now almost overlaps with the left. Actually, we can make it overlap uh, fully. Uh, you can now hit reflect motion. And now our model is moving from side to side. And you might be wondering, but why are we doing this? Don't worry, you're going to understand very soon. Now, let's select our leg and foot. Uh, remember that right now I'm working with a model that has no clothes on or anything. But um, in this case, you're going to select everything that is leg for you. And we can also select the booty. Let's make a new rotation deformer here. Or less here. Let's call it hip R. And let's make this one active as well in this one. Let's bring back our snapshot. And what we're gonna do is try to put the feet back where it was. 
this is basically the concept behind it all. The first time I've seen this method was in um, in a, a video process of Hachachi. Uh, I don't know if I said it right. I'm very sorry if I did not. I will put his uh, uh, video uh, in the description uh, because he's very, very good artist and I learned a lot from his videos. And it was so confusing. But once you understand why things are done like that, it's so easy, trust me. So don't worry if um don't worry if the feet actually the food actually doesn't reach it. It's normal. It's because uh, we need to make a new rotation deformer for our foot as well. And we can call it foot R. Let's make this one active in here as well. And drag it so that it goes back to where it was. Don't worry if it uh, lifts a little bit. Okay, as you can see, our leg right now looks a little bit broken. Uh, we need to fix a little bit again. Um, let's go working with the glue. Basically, what you see right now is that we have red, very harsh yellow, and then here green, very harsh green and yellow. We need to make this become a little bit not so harsh. We need a nice smooth transition. So we have different tools here. Usually I use mostly these three. This one as a little red dot here is gonna just make your dots become red when you click on them. Uh, so you can decrease maybe the size of this. The weight is how much effective the is gonna work. And as you can see, as I click on it, the, sh the dots co become red colored. Which means that they are gonna follow the shape of the red object, which in our case now it's the hips. And it's what we want. Remember to do this little by little. Don't go like ah because it's very hard to fix it after that, okay? Now let's do the same thing. Here the leg is broken. We need a more smooth transition. So let's select the green and let's make it smoother little by little now what this yellow is it makes a strong bonding in between our dots which means that the dots are gonna be glued together and they are gonna move together so we want to go in, in the middle and let's make our middle dots stick strongly together And we fixed it. Now we want to do the same thing for the other side. Bring it to the left. Bring back your image and you want this foot to go back to its place. We can remove the le left leg for now so we see what we are doing. Usually one side is easier than the other, of course. Again, move the feet as well, the foot as well, to make it go back to its place. Now our foot broke as well, same concept, let's go to the glue. And we want a nice smooth transition, so let's start with our green, which is this, in this case is the leg, and Let's make this a smoother transition. And lastly, in the middle, we need strong bonding. Otherwise, they're gonna, they're gonna break. And it's working just fine. Now you might be wondering, but why? What is this? I don't understand. <laughs> 
don't worry, you're gonna understand very soon. One thing I want to fix before copy pasting it to the other side is that <laughs> right now our feet looks a little bit like it's jumping. It's doing pop, 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 pop. This we're jumping. How we can do this uh, is going to show onion skin modeling view. Okay. As we can see, it's going down and then up. Let's extend the interpolation ellipse. It's now, yeah, it's now smoother actually. Okay, we already fixed it like that. Yeah, it's working fine now. Now here comes the magic. We're gonna copy paste this leg to the other side. Select all of it, also the hips, the hip. Control C, Control V. Now let's put all of this into a new temporary deformer. Right click left uh, reflect. Okay. Let's bring back our left leg to see if it copy pasted in the right place. And it looks like it did. So we can remove the old left leg. Uh, bring this down because actually we put it too high. Now I want you to select, uh, we can remove the temporary deformer, select both uh, these new ones, hit, uh, right click here and hit reflect. Sorry, I selected the wrong ones. Reflect. You see what we were doing? Yeah, I think, I believe you're starting to see it now. If we want to spice things up, actually, we can also put this a little bit higher. So let's make uh, let's make this more tidy. Let's select both of these. Let's make a new deformer. Let's call it I don't know apes. Way you're not sure. Let's create this. If it happens like this, hit control and drag. Okay, now we have both our both of our uh, hips inside of a deformer like this. Let's make it let's make it symmetrical. More or less. Don't need all of these divisions, but you can remove all of them. Let's make it active here. So when we go to the side. We have our hips rotating like this. You're gonna you're gonna have to, to fix the legs. But it looks more like her booty is doing that tongue, you know what I mean? We can reflect this motion. You know what I mean? Now I'm gonna very fast fix this, uh, the feet now they have uh, moved wrongly. Let me fix it super fast. Okay, and I actually think that I made a mistake in putting the booty in there because it's moving too much. So we can take them out. Before doing that though, as you can see, if we didn't use the glue, the, this is what happens. It breaks. So by working with the glue, we're able to make that movement uh, automatic. 
as you create your movement, you're going to see things like this happen. You can very easily just fix them as you go. We are going to work on the glue the same way on the left side. Select both of your meshes. Select the vertices that you got. Even if we need to create these ones because we don't have here. Very fast, actually. Bing, 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 bong, bing, bong, bing, bong, auto connect. Left click, select, uh, select the lasso. And we're binding. Okay. Now we need to fine tune this. Again, we need to make it smoother. It might look different on one side compared to the other, but unfortunately, right now you cannot um, copy paste the glue. Let's do it with the foot as well. Bind. And smoother transition. Let's select all of these and let's put extended interpolation just for a smoother movement. And in case you had a uh, you had your um, body body Z, let's make it super fast just to show you. You could go into in the physics preview settings of the cursor tracking. Let's put this to Y and this to Z. Apply, okay. And look at this. Come on, don't you like it? I like it a lot. So, guys, this was everything for today's tutorial. I hope you liked it. And it was faster than my usual tutorials, wasn't it? We also covered the glue, how it works. So I think today was very worth it. Again, if you have any problem, feel free to write me a little uh, comment in the um, uh, lower section so I can help you. I will try my best to. And again, um, please like the video, subscribe if it was helpful for you. It means a lot to me. And thank you for watching. Bye bye. Remember, you can get this on Gumroad if you need it. Bye bye.